It has been eight years now since the battered and drugged body of Upper Marion School teacher Susan Reiner was found in a car trunk in Harrisburg. Her two children have never been found. Tonight, the notorious case was the subject of the CBS miniseries Echoes in the Darkness, seen here on Channel 10. Bill Baldini reports tonight on the aftermath of the case that still has many unanswered questions. What I'm trying to tell you? Upper Marion High School, just 25 minutes from Philadelphia, a school haunted even today by the 1979 murder of Susan Reinert, which led to the convictions of its former principal, Jay Smith, and former English teacher, William Bradfield. That's what they remember us for, or if they say Upper Marion, or that's where Jay Smith was from. Jay Smith, who this day says he's sorry about the pain he's caused Upper Marion High, and claims he was set up. I was an easy target. Everybody was believing that I was involved in this criminal activity. So I was an easy target for Bradfield to frame. Mark Eckert was a member of the student government in the 70s when Smith was the principal. Dr. Smith was never a vicious or an angry or a mean man. I have trouble believing that Dr. Smith could have committed that crime. Even though he was a little odd even when you Even though he was odd. But 58-year-old Smith was convicted of murdering Susan Reinert and her two children, Karen and Michael. The jury said the evidence was circumstantial but overwhelming. Today, Smith is on death row. His case under appeal. I did not kill Susan Reinert and had nothing to do with her murder or any crimes against her or her children. Nothing whatever. Susan Reinert claimed this man, William Bradfield, promised to marry her. She even made him the sole beneficiary of her $760,000 insurance policy. Today, Bradfield stands convicted of masterminding the murders that Smith committed. He's serving three life sentences. The man who relentlessly pursued both Smith and Bradfield in the courts was prosecutor Rick Guida. My duty is only to prosecute those people who I believe can be convicted using credible evidence in the case, and I've heard nothing since that time to have changed uh, my opinion. You think they are guilty? I wouldn't have prosecuted them unless I, had, unless I did. The loudest echo in the darkness, however, was, and still is, what happened to the Reiner children, Karen and Michael, last seen with their mother. Their mother's body was found in 1979, but their bodies were never found. Do you ever think of those two children? Every day. The police say this case will never be closed until the Reiner children are found dead or alive. Bill Baldini, Channel 10 News.